Boris bearish bet against Tesla, $534 million in puts. Tesla stock is not doing so well. The price is going down. Growth stocks are so how are going down. Michael Burry is also betting against Tesla with put options. And if all of that wasn't enough, Elon Musk managed to upset basically every crypto enthusiast in social media. What does this mean for the future of the company? Is this the last drop? Am I finally selling my Tesla shares? Hello everyone and welcome back to Investing with Antoinette. Before we dive right in, I just want to give you the standard like, share and subscribe reminder because it really helps with the YouTube algorithm and your feedback is a big part of why I make these videos. Today we are having yet another look at one of my favorite tech stocks, Tesla. And well, if I've got to be honest, they are not doing so well. Tesla is down by more than 20% from the start of the year and more than 35% from its high last February. Now, Michael Burry, an investor known for his ability to predict this sort of market shifts, is also betting against my Tesla. However, this time he is not shorting. Instead, he went heavy in put options. And let me sneak in a quick quote from a recent SEC filing here. As of March 31st, Barry owned 8,001 put contracts with unknown value, strike price or expiry according to the filing. Essentially, we know that Barry is holding put contracts, but there is no info about the exact details. Now, I'm not a fan of put options. For me, they are entirely too risky and stressful and I really want to sleep at night. I very much prefer my stress-free, stable and reliable long-term investments. Some people say that this is a safer approach than shorting outside of bear market, but they've got really no experience with either, so I'm not going to comment on that. Anyway, here's a quick simplified rundown. Put options are essentially a bearish bet on the stock. If I expect that a stock will go down below a certain price by, let's say, the end of the year, I can monetize my assumption with the help of put contracts. As long as stock stays below my assumed price, strike price, by the expired date, I'll be able to make money on the contracts. Of course, there is a lot more to it than that. There are entire volumes of information and things that you need to know before you can safely get into put options. Or you could just be Michael Burry, I guess, yes? In our case, Burry is betting that Tesla will go down in price. And judging by how things are going for Tesla, he is probably going to make a ton of money out of this. As a side note, Short-term moves like this are very, very difficult to time and it's really easy to mess up and lose a lot of money in the process. The whole short-term segment of investing is a big part of why so many people out there have this silly belief that the stock market is a scam and you are almost guaranteed to lose money if you play. Even in this case here with Michael Burry, who is obviously a top Thai expert, it is still a bet. He is betting a lot of money on his guess that Tesla is going to go down. Yes, it is an educated guess, and yes, he managed to time it perfectly so far at least, but it's still a bet that the market will do a certain thing in the short term. All of this ties back into why I prefer long-term stability over playing with short-term volatility. Yes, people like Barry can make incredible amounts of money with moves like this, but it is all super risky and it looks way too stressful for my test. I like the stability. I like knowing that as long as the fundamentals and management are good, the stocks will do my way. 
It is not as quick as playing the short-term volatility and the short-term payoff is much smaller. Instead, it is a waiting game. And of course, I'm not allowed to play into the short-term volatility. Buy panic selling because then I'm a guarantee to lose money. But what is with all the volatility? Why is Tesla getting hit so hard? Well, it is a whole laundry list of factors. When it comes to media exposure and options, Tesla hasn't been doing too hot lately. There has been a ton of negativity and stock prices are directly tied to public opinion. First of all, Tesla stock skyrocketed last year, a lot. It went way high and there's got to be uh, some corrections. Then Tesla is also a growth stock. And what is the trend with the growth stocks at the moment? Yes, going down. That is right, they are failing out of favor. Now, take all of this, add the whole Bitcoin's fiasco that happened recently and you've got a pretty good idea of why Tesla stocks is taking a nosedive. I do not believe that this is the end of my Tesla. I'm not selling out of my positions and I do not think less of Elon Musk management abilities. I'm still very positive about the future of Tesla and there is no reason to think that their prospects have diminished in the slightest. I also don't hate Elon Musk for saying what he did about crypto, even though I own Bitcoin. Last I checked, he is not a certified financial advisor. Besides, he is also entitled to his own opinions about different stuff. And besides the energy efficiency issue with the crypto mining is very real. If you are interested, you can go and check out the Twitter stuff, but I can save you the time and tell you right now that all you see is just a ton of ton of negativities. Naturally, this negativity will further impact public opinion, which means that the stock could take even more hits. Still, looking at the bigger pictures, I'm not really concerned about the future of Tesla in the slightest. And as far as my own shares are concerned, well, I'm not selling. Of course, that shouldn't really come as a shock to my frequent viewers. But I know that we've also got a ton of new people on the market who are still trying to get the hang of things. So here's my logic. I'm a long-term investor, meaning that I'm in this for the long run. I bought into Tesla years ago not because some celebrity or YouTube content creator told me to, but because I did my own research and decided that this is the company can help me make a lot of money. I've held on this position so far and I'll keep holding for as long as I can. And yes, I know that it feels bad to see your positions go down. I also went through this back when I was new, but there is one vital thing that every long-term investor has to understand and always keep in mind. You are not losing or gaining any money until you sell. If I bought my shares at 10, dollars and then the price goes down to five i haven't actually lost any money until i decide to sell for five dollars likewise if i bought my shares for 100 and they go up to 10,000, i still haven't made a single penny until i sell it is all potential returns and potential losses the real changes doesn't happen until you actually let go of the shares if I still like the management, the fundamentals and the business model, I will hold on to my positions. Because the market always balances itself out. The stock goes up. That is great. It means that the company is gaining traction. The price goes down. That is even better because I will be able to add more to my positions while it is undervalued. Basically, Making it big with long-term investing can be boiled down to being patient and sitting on your positions for as long as you possible. If and only if you still believe that the company has a bright future, of course. And yes, all right, this video has been going on for long enough. So let's wrap it up. In summary, I'm not selling out of my position. Instead, I'm going to keep doing what I always do and keep an eye out for another opportunity to add even more Tesla to my portfolio. So if I see the prices go down below 500, I'm buying more. If it somehow managed to go low, well, that is even much better. More Tesla for me. And remember guys, 
stocks do not accurately show the financial health or long-term prospects of a company, the financial reports, the presentations and the management do. The stock market just shows you what people think about the company, if people like it and uh, more importantly if the media and the influences like it, the prices will go up. If there is negativity about it, the price will go down. That is just how it works in the short term. The long term, on the other hand, doesn't rely on opinions, hype or influences. The long term is all about the fundamentals and the stats that really, really matter. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends. I really appreciate it. Also, don't hesitate to drop your thoughts, questions and ideas about future videos in the comment sections down below. I'm planning to release a special mindset video later this week or next week, so if there's something mindset related that you'd like me to talk about more, make sure to let me know. That is all I've got for you today. Don't forget to leave me comments and what is your opinion about Tesla? Are you selling, holding or you buying some more shares? Thank you all for being with me and until next time, stay very motivated.